Oh, hi. Hello, Karina. How's it going? Hi, teacher. Fine. Good to see you. And I'm the first. Thank you for being early. How are you? How was your day? Yeah, fine. It was better than the days before. Better than the days before? Yeah. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. Do you want mango? Uh, I'd love to have some mango. <laughs> mm. But is it green or? Oh, it's, it's, is it green? Is it, um, is it green mango? Yeah. yeah. I don't like green mango, though. <laughs> <clears throat> I love it. I prepare it just for the class. <laughs> I so like I will green, be awake. I don't like green mango because uh, I, I usually don't. I'm not. I'm not friends with soury, you know, uh, flavors. I love them. Yeah. I can take an arrayan and eat it completely. Just <laughs> you could eat at a lemon. once. Mm, right. I love lemon. Mm. All right, very good. L Laura, hello, Laura. Nice to see you. How was your day, Laura? How are you coming today? Hello, David. I'm good. Thank you. Good. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Um. So let's wait for everybody else to join in, guys. Meanwhile, tell me. So, what have you done today? What do you do today, Laura? Oh, here they are, Sandra and Eric. So, what have you done today, Laura? Well, I went to I went to my job. Huh? Is that it? <laughs> Just that? I went to my job. All right, very and good. I, and I did my homework or the platform at my job. And uh, all right, all right, that's good, that's good, that's very good. Uh, all right. What about you? I heard uh, what... some. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Laura. I heard some audio audio listening to try to improve. Okay, all right. That's awesome. All right. I'm always glad that you guys are trying to improve. Uh, what about you, Eric? How was your day, sir? Well, it was nice. I just went to my house, uh, spending uh, some time with my family. Then around around noon, I went uh, downtown, specific, uh -huh. specific to the bank. And I spent there at, at least uh, two hours and a half waiting for some information. And in the rest of the afternoon, I was trying to uh, catch up with the firm. 3.8 is my nemesis. Who is your nemesis? I, have, I haven't done almost anything in 3.8. Uh, 3.8. 3.8. Oh, okay. You haven't, you haven't finished. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Don't worry. We're going to get there. Okay. Uh, what about you, Sandra? How was your day today? What do you do? My day was a bit bored, boring, I mean, uh -huh. because I didn't do anything special, but I studied at least three hours at the end of the evening, at the end of the afternoon, because I was trying to do the same <coughs> exercise that Eric was doing, 3.8, and I couldn't do it. Oh, okay. You were trying to do 3.8? <laughs> yeah. Just one. <laughs> I just could do what, the first so one. So <laughs> what's, what's wrong? What do you think is wrong with, with 3.8? What, what's going on? What's the big deal? I, I have all of them incorrect, too. <laughs> all of them are incorrect. Nice, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. But I'm the one, like, if I if I get, like, frustrated, I stop. And I do not continue. Oh. So I say, oh, God, all of them are wrong, so I'm not going to do them right now. Maybe later when I have a fresh mind. But I did okay. it. I did it again, and it, I have I had them run again. So. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Very good. But well, you tried, right? Uh, what about you, uh, Imer? Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. So, what about you? How do you feel the section number three? Have you? Try to do section 3.8 so far? Yes, but they 
I have a lot of mistakes for some reason. I tried in different ways, but I don't know what is the, <laughs> the real answer. All right, all right, very good. Do my favorite guys, uh, please can, can uh, Emer, would you be so kind to share your screen, please? Let me see. <laughs> Can you wash it? Can I wash it? No, I only wash my clothes. <laughs> Can you watch it? Okay, very good. All right, do me a favor, guys. All right, um, let's go back. Okay, let's let's make sure that did we finish, guys? Did we do the? Can you scroll up a little bit? All right. Uh, now just go to the to the. Um, you see the third tab? Could you please click on that? Yeah. yeah. All right. Did we all finish this one, guys? I did. I finished. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's go to the next one, please. Amir. I did it. Very good. Did it, I think the the listen next? There you go. All right. Yeah. Did, did we all finish the listening exercise? I did yes. also. Yes. All right. Very good. All right. And the last one. Okay. Now we haven't touched that topic yet, guys. So we are gonna see that topic today. Okay. All right. So if you want, guys, okay, right? I mean, you can finish it before, but uh, after I explain it, then, then, you know, I can help you with that, okay? But that's what we are going to be talking about today, All right? Sure. All right, guys. So let me just share the presentation here. The presentation. Right. All right, guys. Anyways, so you you can stop sharing. Thank you very much, Shimmer. All right. Great. All right, guys. So let's talk about wishes and regrets. Okay. But before we jump into that, let's get some vocabulary out of the way, all right? So now, guys, um, let's see, uh, Sandra, all right, what, yeah. is a, what is something that is acceptable for you? Something acceptable is something that is right, and all people is agree. All people is agree? In agreement, yeah. I need. Well, people is agree. Hold on, guys. Agree, guys. Is it a noun? Are you ready to express wishes? Is agree a noun or, or a verb, guys? It's in agreement. <laughs> it Hold is a, a verb. It's a it verb. Is, it is a verb, okay? So do you say I am a I am eat or do you say I eat? I eat. I eat. Very good. All so you don't like say I, I am agree because agree is also no. a verb, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you say I agree. I agree. Got it? Yes, got very it. Good, yes, very good. Okay. All right, very good. All right. So acceptable. Very good. Okay. I like that answer. Okay. Something. Okay. So I'm just going to say ACC. Okay. Something. Right. Very good job. All right. All right. Good, 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 good job. Okay. All right. Eric, what is uh, something agreeable for you? Uh, agreeable, I guess it's something like. Uh, nice, maybe. Okay. I'm so not pretty sure about that, maybe. You, okay, right. You say that it is something nice, okay? All right. Uh, that is not quite the meaning, but good try. Uh, what do you think, guys? What is agreeable? Something that that someone can something be... Something or something? Huh? You say something. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay. It's something... Huh? Uh, that 
someone can be in agreement. Very good. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I know what you're trying to say, but then okay. it's something people will agree to. Okay. This is what you wanted to say. Okay. Good job. All right. Very good. Uh, no, it's not compatible, but you know, something that people will agree to. Right. Very good. So that is agreeable. Okay. What about approving guys? Uh, let's see. Carolina, what is approving? Mm, for me, it is something that I accept. Very good. And, okay, go ahead. Acceptable. And like, uh, uh huh, like I, I accept it. Acceptable. And, okay. All right. Something acceptable, approving. That I agree with. <laughs> can I? Can I say? Can I say? You know, this food is acceptable. And can I say, this food is approving. Mm. I, no, I, I think it is I just can't. good decisions. Okay, so you can't. Okay, so it is not quite the same, right? It's not the same as acceptable. <laughs> no. say, okay. But uh, it well, it is acceptable, guys. But it's from the from a perspective of a different person, right? Oh, mm -hmm. he's uh, he's very approving. Okay, so it works as that as a, let's say that it's acceptable. Okay, but it works as an adjective. Okay, acceptable. Mm -hmm. All right, what is fair, Laura? Fair. Mal the teacher. <laughs> uh, something or someone that people believe. Okay, all right. Uh, to, or that, trust, that. or trust in something or someone like God or the universe. Oh, that is that is faith. Faith. Oh. Yes, that's faith. Fear. Okay, all right. Don't worry, all right. Um, I know. All right, it's okay. Uh, Eric, what is fair? What do you think fair is? Maybe something that is correct or uh, it's equivalent for uh, something both just, sides. Right, something oh, just, you. guys. Okay. Right. It has a, a, a lot of different. I mean, I mean, it has multiple meanings, guys. Okay, it can work. Um, it can be also the place where you go to to. Um, Oh, I forgot. Make, like bunker. mechanic, when you have mechanic games and things like that. Exactly. When it works as an out, guys, it is the fun fair, right? Like when you have the, it's the, the, the fun fair, guys, is the place where you have the roller coasters and all that. Okay. Candies. Candies and such, yes. Can, uh, cotton candies, right? Very good. All right, very good, guys, all right? So, honest, okay? What is honest, uh, Emer? Are you an honest person? I think so. All right. <laughs> Very good. Okay. All right. So an honest person is what, guys? What can we define as something honest? Me. Someone honest. <laughs> oh, God. So humble. Um. Honesty is something like, Re like uh, true. reliable, right? Reliable. Reliable, right? Yeah, reliable. Say reliable, right? Legal, guys. Legal. I, I think. Do we have a question regarding legal? No. All right. I, okay. Logical. What about logical? Someone logical. Something. Obvious. <laughs> All right. Something logical is something logical, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I don't think that, yeah. That was with that, okay? Common sense. Common sense. Mm -hmm. Very good. See? Yeah. All right. Very good. You're someone logical, man, right? I think that you're more more logical than honest. <laughs> no, I'm I do too. All right. <laughs> All right, in my in my humble opinion. In your humble opinion. <laughs> <laughs> you're very funny, man. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, guys. So, what about what about rational? Who is someone rational? What do you think? Rationality. That's a person who thinks carefully of the on the situation or the things that that person is going to do. Okay, uh, someone rational. Very good. I would say someone wise, guys. Okay, someone who acts mm. with, with reason. Okay, someone who acts wise. with reason. Okay. All right, very good. 
Uh, what about responsible? Do you have any question about responsible? No. I think okay, very good. Do you think you guys are responsible? Sometimes. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're here. All right, all right, at least you're honest, right? Very good. <laughs> mm. Very good, Claudia. Welcome, Claudia. All right. Uh, then we have. Then we have uh, scrupulous. Okay, now this one is interesting, guys. Can I raise it? I think you know this one, guys. Right, I so don't even know what is the meaning in the Spanish. Scrupulous. In Spanish, not in Spanish, right? In, in Spanish. Very good, right? Mm -hmm. in Spanish. I, I like listen it and then try and always to understand what it is. But All right, so what do you think, guys? I, I think it's someone who follows the rules. It's very clean and something like that. Okay. Who else has a different idea? Laura, do we know? Uh, Eric, maybe Eric. Mm, maybe scrupulous be something or someone that doesn't like something dirty. Just right. need maybe things. maybe we don't even know it in Spanish, right? <laughs> no. right? That's because you don't read Paolo Coelho, guys. <laughs> no, I right? just just read something. Just to pass the subject in high school. All right, just yeah, it's exactly. But right. I don't remember that picture. So guys, all right. So Sweet. it's someone very oh, diligent. Sister. Do you know what diligence? You know someone diligent is? Yes. Yes. All right. So it's a scene. Someone what? Sorry. Diligent. I don't know Could what. Could be is a strict. That. Kind of. Okay. Uh, so basically, guys, it's a person who is really concerned about not doing bad things okay, or things wrong in the wrong way. Okay. So someone diligent. Okay. All right. That is scrupulous. Okay? All right. Very good. Trustworthy. Right. What is the meaning of? I'm gonna mute you guys because I, I hear I hear TV in the background and the papa la papa or something like that. Right? Nice. Okay. All right, so trustworthy, okay? I think it's someone who is reliable. Okay, someone who can be trusted, okay? So that is that is it, okay? Trust. All right, guys, do we have any question regarding the vocabulary so far? Or so far, so good? So far, so good. So far, so good. Clear as tequila? Yep. Like, right, very like Caña Rick. All right, very good. Right, it's good. Like Caña Rick is like very clear, right? So that that is great. very clear. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna talk about suffixes, okay? So these, you know, all these adjectives are these adjectives. Yes, right. He's an honest person, right? He can describe the subject. So these are adjectives, okay? So now, guys, we can all transform them into something. Well, well let me ask you something: Are these positive adjectives? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, yes, they are positive adjectives, are. right? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Now, can we we can actually turn them into negative adjectives, okay? Nice. And for that, we use prefixes, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, so there are a couple of um, there are a couple of rules, guys. This is a topic that you already. Are supposed to know okay so i'm not gonna go into much detail okay but we have you know uh so far here we got we got uh five rules right so for words starting if you want me to maximize it okay very good so for words guys or um starting with an l such as legal or legible the prefix, and by the way, guys, a prefix, if you don't know, is basically the first syllable of a word, okay? So that's a prefix, all right? Anyways, guys, so any word, guys, that starts with an with an L, with, with an I, I'm sorry, not, not uh, I'm sorry, with an L, yes, with an L, <laughs> well, uh, you have to use the prefix L, okay? All right, can you think about another another adjective that starts with an L, guys? If you don't know... Logic. Logic, logical, right? Logical. So you don't say uh, uh, irrogic, irrologic, 
what I didn't even know, I didn't even know how to say that. Illogical, you don't say illogical, you don't say illogical, you don't say this logical, right? You say illogical. Got it? Illogical. So far so good? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. For words starting with the consonant R, such as relevant, we use yeah. what's the prefix that we use? I R ear. <laughs> air, okay. Air. Okay. Irrelevant. Air. Okay. Very good. Okay. Irresponsible. Okay, very good. All right. Irresponsible. Very good. All right. For words that start with an with uh with an M or a P as in Peter. All right. What do we use? Uh Laura? I'm sorry, I didn't pay attention. Where so for, for words for words that that start with an M or a P, what prefix do we use? I am. Okay, you use M, right? In this case, it's not I am, guys, because it's not, it's not the contracted form or I am in M, uh, but it's M, okay? So we use M. this. So, all right, so can you think of an adjective, guys? Thank you, Laura. Uh, can you think of an adjective that starts with an M or a P? What about what about this guys? Pleasant. What about that? How would you how would you how would you transform that into well actually guys this is this is this could be like something impenetrable, right? The the pronunciation is impenetrable, okay? All right. So that that guys, okay, so that's that's an example, right? So the word starts with a P, right? So you go impenetrable. Everybody, impenetrable. 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 All right, very good. Impenetrable. Yes, okay. Can you think of an adjective that starts uh, that starts with an M? Major. No, okay. I, I mean, uh, aside from the ones that you see here, guys. Uh. Malicious or something like that. Malicious? I don't know I, how. I mean, malicious is already bad, so. <laughs> In malicious. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> Carolina, let's go, Carolina. Come on, guys. Go to Google, right? Ask. Marvelous. Marvelous, okay. All right. So, yeah, I mean, if you say marvelous, all right, you can In say. Marvelous? In marvelous, right? You can say something like that, guys, but I haven't heard anybody saying that, but that, that, <laughs> that, that, that is possible mm -hmm. to be marked. All right. Very good. What else? What else? What else? What about this, guys? Impossible. Impossible, right? Very good. All right, guys. Clear? So far, so good? Yes? Yeah. All right, very good. Take notes, guys, because I can see your faces. I know who's taking notes and not, and who doesn't, uh, and who's not. Okay, very good. Now, this, guys, can we use when we use uh, this? All right, that's a negative prefix, and it means not or none. Okay. When we add this to the beginning of war, we give the opposite meaning, and there are some. There are uh, just a. A specific group of words that we use this okay all right so for example usually guys when you start with a vowel that is not you know that that um, well when you, when you start with a vowel actually you know for example uh, associate okay now another thing guys you have to notice here is that this is not an adjective right in that case, okay, all right, you could turn some things, in, you know, to some nouns into adjectives, or some verbs into adjectives, but in this case, guys, okay, this is not an adjective, okay, so just just to let you know, all right? So in this case, guys, okay, what would be the prefix here? Disassociate. 
Everybody, disassociate. Disassociate. Very good, okay? All right, very good, guys. All right, guys. So let's try to complete, guys, the following exercises, okay? So you know what to do, guys. Work in teams. And uh, I'll send the screenshot right now, okay? All right. Let's go, guys. Eric, let's join, Eric. There you go. All right, guys, I'm going to okay, that's in nice. a moment. Hold on. Give me one. Okay. All right, that's the first one. And I'll send you the second one in a moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Bless you. All right. Let's work on it. Really? <laughs> it's not not because of his worth. <laughs> okay. But that works. Mm -hmm. Carol thinks boys with long hair are really unattractive. Unattractive. Un is, that, is that is that true or false? <laughs> nah? Is that That's true or false? false? That's false. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What is false? Do you prefer long haired men? Uh, uh, I think, no, I, I, I don't prefer them. I was, I'm sorry, go ahead. I don't prefer boys with long hair or short hair. They just should be happy in the way they am. They are, I mean. Okay. All right. I was going to say that, you know, it depends on how the person looks, not the hair. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> All, right. All right. Good job. Attractive. Oh, no. you, you good, guys? Girl? In, in, in helpful, I think. Yeah. Or. Mm -hmm. David, I'm not pretty sure that that we have to do here. You guys have to use prefixes for these adjectives. Mm -hmm. So, for example, Carol thinks that boys with long hair are really, and you have to use the the prefix for attractive. So, what would be the prefix for attractive? Okay. All right. So, that shall... in the second in, teacher yeah, in the second we... sentence, we can use handful. Okay, now in we this... didn't see guys. Okay, the first one I'll you because we, we did not see un. Okay, un. So un. Okay, all right. The first one should be unattractive. So it, it isn't inattractive or disattractive. Unattractive. Okay. I'm sorry, Claudia. What was your question? Okay. okay. Unattractive. Okay. Unattractive. Mm. Yes. O sea, no atractivo, unattractive. Yes, no Spanish. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys, we didn't see un, okay, we didn't see un. Um, because, again, we were not supposed to review these guys completely, but, but uh, in the first example, guys, it should be unattractive, okay? And also, um, yes, and also the second um, one. Unhelpful. Unhelpful. There you go. Okay. All right. Also, likely. Unlikely. Also, employed. Okay. Also, certain. And let's see. Yeah. 
Uh, also happy. Yes, also comfortable. Also, that's it. All right. Unhelpful, unlikely, uncertain, unhappy. By the way, this Hi. this is not. This was just a quick review, guys. So we didn't touch this, but. There is there is a prefix there that should be un okay yeah all right there are actually yeah, like five it. of them okay very good yeah right. very good. unlikely unlikely yeah. yes unemployed unlikely, unhappy unemployed very good mm -hmm. uncertain uncertain Un uncertain not uncertain un un yes uncertain <laughs> un yes. uncertain stunks for you Emer. <laughs> nice. Don't be so impatient. Unpatient? Is it unpatient? Impatient. Impatient. impatient okay. Sorry, I'm impatient. I'm direct right now. All right. That's okay, man. That's okay. okay. Impossible. Uh, the six six some and employ employee people suffer from the lack of confidence some and employees yeah. have people so suffer from the lack of confidence in this case will be um 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 employee no employee yes employee yes Yes. Seven. Okay. He's very uncertain. Uncertain, yes. Mm -hmm. Uncertain. Don't be so impatient. They will certainly arrive soon. Yes, that's correct, Laura. That's correct. The second nine, the the nine sentence. Uh, 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 why are you so happy, unhappy? You have everything you need. Why are you so unhappy? You have everything you need. Okay, unhappy. Yes, unhappy. Yes. Okay. The report in the newspaper was totally. Um, I don't know. Unaccurate. Right. But in right. immoral is with I N. Even it starts yes. with M, but it's with N, right? Oh. In How are you doing, moral. Guys? Uh, I'm talking about moral, but uh -huh. I remember the rule that you said that we should write an M, but uh -huh. I'm looking for it and it is with N. In moral. Yes, it's with a with actually, a little n. Well, yes. Uh, you can use it, guys. With um, you can use it with an n, as in Nancy. Mm -hmm. Right. But immoral. All right, but you can also say immoral, right? Also, okay. False. Yes. Immoral. Okay. And the 14 says, oh, you can use both that. of them. Formal, informal. To be honest, I don't know if, if one is more formal than the other one. No, but no, no. I, I'm talking about the 14. <laughs> the 14 oh, says okay, formal. All right. Mm. <laughs> All right, very good. Very good. The 14 says formal, so it will be informal. All right, very good. Very good. Okay. Done. Very good, guys. Very oh, good. All right, let's go. You back. have all of them, Eric. Hello there. Where, where did you get that hello there from? Hello there. From, a, from, Star, a Star, from a Star Wars. <laughs> From Star Wars. Well, what? Uh -huh. Why? Why? Who says? The meme. Hello there. Obi-Wan. 
I have no idea, dude. <laughs> he, he, saw the, he suddenly appears and say hello there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, man. All right, very good. <laughs> all right, guys. So, how do you do, guys? How do you feel it? Was it easy? Just Google, guys. Again, guys. This is just vocabulary. Okay, I just, I just, I just took a little bit longer, guys, to explain to you, like to touch base on the rules, guys. The the, the rules are more complex than these. Okay, so if you made a mistake, it's okay, right? But I do want you to find you know the uh the prefixes for the vocabulary that we learned okay so what do we do what's the answer for number one guys number one for number one attractive number right. one is it inattractive or unattractive Un unattractive unattractive okay unattractive. Unattractive. very good okay number two what is number two uh carolina Unhelpful. 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 Repeat, guys. Unhelpful. 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 Okay, very good. Unhelpful. Number. All, all right. So let's see what we got with number three. Illegal. 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 Very good. Illegal. What do Illegal. we have on number four? Unlikely. 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 Right. Unlikely. Unlikely. Very good. All right. What do we have for number five? Impossible. Impossible, Impossible right? Impossible. Very good. Impossible. Impossible. What do we have for number six? Unemployed. 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 Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. What do we have for number seven? Uncertain. Impatient. Uncertain. Uncertain, guys. Uncertain. Uncertain. Very good. Number eight. Impatient. 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 Very good. Impatient. All right. What do we have for number nine? Unhappy. Unhappy, Unhappy right? Unhappy. Number 10. Inaccurate. 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 Okay, very good. Inaccurate. Very good. Uh, next one. What do you have for the next one? Uncomfortable. 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 Okay. Uncomfortable. All right. Comfortable. <laughs> Comfortable. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, man. Uh, <laughs> All right, very good. Um, so what do we have for number 11, guys? Uncomfortable. Um, Comfortable. I'm sorry, what? Comfortable. <laughs> okay, all right. Number incorrect. 12, I'm sorry. No, number 12. Uh, incorrect. Incorrect. Okay, so incorrect. It is, it is incorrect. Very good. Number incorrect. 13. Immoral. Immoral. All right. This, this, uh, Karina was looking it up, guys, right? But this has two, two, like two ways of saying it, okay? All right. It could be in, immoral or immoral, okay? Very good. Uh, number 14. Informal. Informal. And formal. Very good job, guys. And applause for you. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Do we have any question here? Now, before we, we before we move on, guys, okay, let's let's where would you place this vocabulary? All right. So what would be what would be acceptable? What prefix would you use for acceptable? Unacceptable. Okay, all right. We would have we would have here unacceptable, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that I was sharing the presentation. Very good. <clears throat> so we have unacceptable, right? Very good. Uh, what about agreeable? Where would you place agreeable? This disagreeable. Okay, right. We disagreeable. Very good. What about uh, approving? Disapproving. Very good. Uh -huh. Disapproving, okay. Disapproving. Very good. What about uh, what about uh, rational? Where will you please rational? Irrational. Okay, irrational. Very good. 
Where would you place ethical? Unethical. Very good, okay. Unethical. All right, where would you place fair? Unfair. Unfair. Unfair, right? Very good. Unfair. Where would you place? I'm not. I'm gonna stop saying that. All right, what about honest, guys? This. Dishonest. Dishonest, okay. <laughs> Humor. <laughs> What about uh, what about uh, logical? Illogical. illogical. Very good. Okay, that would be illogical. Logical. Okay, illogical. Uh, all right. Very good. So illogical. Very good. What about legal? Illegal. Right. Illegal. Right. Oh. All right, so that would be illegal, all right? What about, what about, what about, what about um, responsible or trustworthy? Irresponsible. Irresponsible. Okay. Untrustworthy. Untrustworthy, okay. okay. All right, what about uh, scrupulous? Unscrupulous. Unscrupulous, very good, okay. Unscrupulous, okay, very good. All right, guys. Beautiful, beautiful job, okay. Any questions here? So far, so good? Yeah. So far, so good? So far, so good. All right, guys, so we're going we're gonna to finish this one topic specifically tomorrow, okay. But let's talk about wishes and regrets, okay. So now, guys. To talk about wishes and regrets, you can follow this structure right here, okay? Up at the top, guys. This one right here. So that structure is telling us, telling us, telling us guys, how we use the verb wish. Now, this is when we want to, this is actually the structure, okay? This is the structure. If we want to use wish for talking about we're talking about what? Depression. Wishes about the present. Wishes about the present. So what wishes? All right, hold on, guys. All right, so what wishes do you have, guys? Okay. Now notice, guys. Even if you're talking about the present, the structure, guys, that you're gonna use is either simple past, past continuous, or could. Or I would plus a verb, okay? So these guys, okay, this, 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 and this, okay? So that's, those are, you know, the tenses that you must be using if you want to talk about wishes for in the present, okay? What type of wishes do you have in the present? For example, guys, all right? Let's talk, take a look at the first example. All right, uh, Claudia, would you please be so kind to help me read? I'm going to fix this. You may teach it. Uh, um, uh, oh, yes. example. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Would you please be so kind to help me read? Mm -hmm. um, I wish I, I could, could dinner tonight. All right, can you, all right, I, I'm going to repeat it again. Would you please be so kind to help me read the example? Just just read it. Oh, okay, okay, read the example. I, excuse me. I, right. I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. All right, very good, okay? Repeat after me, guys. I wish, not the wish, I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I had enough. I, I had, had enough. enough. All right, uh, Claudia, if you want to. Have... All right, enough nerve. Nerve. Enough nerve. To ask for a promotion. To ask for, ask a, promotion. for a promotion. Very good. It's not, so it's not wish, it's not enough. It's not nerve. It's not promotion. It's promotion, right? Promotion. Promotion. All right, guys. So now check this out, guys. Okay, here's the structure. All right, we got wish, and then what is this? 
Simple. Yeah. Simple fast. Simple fast, right? And then we have a complement, okay? Simple as that. Now, is this something that happened in the past? What do you think? Am I, am I talking about the past or am I talking about the present? We're talking about the, the present. Past. I'm talking the about the past. present, guys. No, yeah. why am I talking? Why are you talking? Why do you think that we're talking about the past? Here? Because it's something that you would like to have in the past, but you don't have it. I you would didn't like have to it. have it in the past. But you didn't have it because you didn't ask for a promotion. It's something That's that you, you want right in now. The present. This is in the present, guys, not in the past. Yeah. Okay? All right. So you have to forget about that idea, guys, that, that, that we're talking about the past. Okay. We're talking about the present, not the past. Okay? I don't so, understand. Here's the thing. Okay. That's okay. All right. So when you talk like this, guys. So, so let me ask you something, Carolina. If I say I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion, let's let's change the example so you might understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I had enough money. Let's just leave it like this, okay? It is the same example, right? Am I talking about the past or the present here? <laughs> I will say the past. <laughs> okay. Now, do I have money? According to this sentence, guys, do I have money? Yes or not? Ask yourself no. a question. No, you don't. Okay. Wait, if I say, do I have money? Do I have the money? Is this in the present or in the past? That's the present. Okay, the it present. is the present, right? So in the present, okay, I don't have money. Mm -hmm. Because, so this is the real situation, okay? Every time that we're talking about real situations, we're talking about the present, okay? Real equals the present, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So the reality is that I don't have money, okay? So then I wish I had money, okay? So in no. this current moment, I need money. And this is what mm -hmm. I wish I had enough money or money, right? Whatever. I wish I had money means, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, is that clear now? Yes, I understand did you, that. Did you take notes? Guys, take notes, mm. okay? I'm asking, but I know that you're not taking notes, right? All I right. took a screenshot. All right, that's not the same, but okay. Very good, guys. So, uh, any other question, guys? You good? You good? Sandra, Claudia, Laura? We good? Emer? Yes, I got it. All right, very good. Very good, guys. So, second example, Emer. Second example. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. All right, when you say, I wish I could find, I'm sorry, I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. Again, are we talking about the present or are we talking about the past? The present. Uh, we're, still talk, we're still talking about the present, right? Because it's, uh, it's not a... It's a, it's not a, a, a real situation. It is an unreal situation, right? If it is real, what is the reality? Remember, the reality, the, the real situations, guys, they, they talk about the present, okay? So that is something that is real. So what is real here, guys? You don't have time. Okay, that I don't have time, okay? All right, and imaginary, okay? I wish I had time. Simple as that. Good? You good, good, right? Very good, guys. So moving on, guys. All right. Moving on. Give me your own examples. <laughs> All right. So do my favor, guys. I need everybody to send me five examples in the chat room right now, please. And I'm going to be asking each of you meanwhile, okay? So let's start with Emer. Let's go, Emer. <laughs> I wish I had a, a lot of money to pay the car. <laughs> to pay for the car. For very the good. Car. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Very good. Okay. Good job, Emer. Laura, I right, keep keep sending me um, keep sending me examples, guys. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention this. What if it is negative, guys? 
Huh? What if it is negative? What about? What about I wish? What is the? So I want. I want to remember. You have to follow the same structure, right? I didn't. I wish I didn't. Very good. Have. Carolina. Um. I'm. I'm saying. I'm sorry, teacher. I was sending then. Oh, okay, that's okay. I was sending that. Data. I wish I didn't have. A toxic. All right, very good. Okay, good job. Good. All right, or <laughs> you can say, I wish I didn't listen to Cheyenne all day, right? All right. That's something, <laughs> that's something that you could say, right? Very good, guys. Okay, mm. so it is the same thing because, right, we're still using the symbol. Mm. Very good. All right, anyways, uh, Laura, give me your example. All right, Mal, the teacher. <laughs> I wish I could study English. I wish Before. I could study. Oh, oh, hold on. All right. If I say I wish I could study English, it's okay. All right. But if you say before, it's incorrect. Why would that be incorrect? Then? Because you're talking about the present. Very good. Because we talk, we have to talk this. We say, I wish I study English. And these guys, I studied, right? Not I studied. I studied. Okay. I wish. Oh, but you say I could study. I'm sorry. Okay. I wish I could study English, guys. Okay. These guys is talking about the present. So you cannot give a time reference for the past. Okay. All right. So be careful okay. with that. We're going to see, guys. We're going to okay. see about regrets. Okay. Those are called regrets, okay? What type of regrets you have? So for wishes in the past, that's another structure, okay? And we're gonna see that, okay? But today, guys, we're seeing the structure for wishes in the present, okay? Very good, uh, but thank you very much, Laura. Eric, let's go, Eric. Uh, I wish I could watch more TV. I could watch, do my favorite guys send examples in third person or any other type of pronoun, okay? Not only I, right? I wish I could watch more TV. Very good, all right? Good job. Very healthy, Eric. Very healthy. All right. Uh, Sandra, give me another one in third person. Let's talk about Cheyenne. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Cheyenne. I wish. I will say come another to the Salvador. <laughs> I wish Cheyenne come. Could come to El Salvador. No, I, it, that, that would be okay, but I want you to use the past of come. Oh, came. Came to El Salvador, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, again, is that the present or the past? The past. Present. That is ah, the, the present, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Good, present. All right, Carolina, all right, give me another one with Cheyenne. I don't know. <laughs> uh, with Cheyenne, I wish you, sh you couldn't. Oh, wait. Can I say you, no. I wish you could not mention Cheyenne. I wish you could, you could not mention. Are you sure this is the verb that you want to use? You could not mention? No, no, it's not the one that I want to say. <laughs> Which one do you want to I use? I wish you... Follow the structure. You forget about the structure, guys. Simple, fast. I wish you didn't talk about Cheyenne. <laughs> forget you didn't talk about Cheyenne. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Carolina. <laughs> All I right. sent the other ones to the chat. All right, very good. Claudia, all right, give me your, Claudia. Give me one of yours. Yes, teacher. I wish I could cook a bowl tonight. Cook what? I wish I could cook vegetable. 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 Enough vegetable tonight. Vegetable. Enough. Enough. Okay. Before vegetable and no vegetable. Veg. Okay, you're tonight. Not. Vegetables. There is an S at the end. Multiple, right? Ve Multiple vegetables. All right, very good. <laughs> good job. Let's record you guys. All right, good job. Claudia. But I don't have. All right. Very good, but guys. Okay. <laughs> very good. Let me let me take a look at your examples, guys, because the class is over. All right, uh, Karina, I wish I could be invisible. Very good. Emer, I wish I had a lot of money to pay for the car. I wish I could have money to buy a, ho a house. <laughs> All right, good job. 
Good job. Everything is good. I think that you're missing the you, right? House. House, I'm sorry. House. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. I wish I would learn English at school. Now, that's incorrect. Actually, no, that, that's correct, Emer. But I don't know. if Are you going to school right now or were you talking about the past? If you're talking about the past, that is incorrect. All right. If you're talking uh, about... I'm thinking. I, you're thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm I'm talking about someone who is at school <laughs> at the school right now. Okay. All right, Sandra. I wish I wasn't sick. Very good. Okay, you're using the verb either, but that's that's very good. Now I wish I weren't sick, guys. Not I wasn't. Why yeah. I weren't mm -hmm. and not I wasn't? Because it's oh. real. Oh wait, Sandra. Are you, Sandra, are you here? Oh yeah, Sandra. Yes, I'm here. Okay, all right, very yes, good. I'm here. Sandra. Okay. I wish you weren't here. <laughs> no, that's not it. I and thought Alexander. your name your name was different. <laughs> the screen oh, different. okay, okay. All right, very good. All right, uh, Carolina, I wish I could fly. Very good. I wish I could play basketball. Good job. Imra, I wish I would win the, the trophy. Uh, Carolina, I wish I had vacations. All right. Uh, Imer, I wish I could go to the concert. Laura, I wish I could live in another country. All right, uh, Emer. I wish he could pass the time, the exam. He could pass the exam. With S S. All right, pass is not a verb, man. Right, think about it. Pass is not a verb. All right, uh, Carolina. She wishes she could play. She could play the piano. Very good, Laura. She wish. Ah, you're you're. She wishes. Okay, third person. She wishes, and then you're missing the subject. So this one, Laura. I don't know what happened there. Uh, Sandra, I wish cousins could learn how to, uh, uh incorrect. My cousin. Very good. Uh, oh, you corrected yourself later, Laura. He wishes he could have a red card. Good job, Emer. I wish you could have a Merry Christmas. Okay. I wish you could pass the exam. I wish you could pass the exam. I <laughs> come on, Emer. All right, guys. Okay. Good job, guys. I'm close for you. All right, guys. Good job, guys. We're going to see. We're going to talk about regrets tomorrow. All right. Hope you liked it, guys. All right. Uh, any questions, guys, before we leave? Or are we good? Good. So good? Good. All right, guys. Okay. In that case, guys, see you guys. You guys are dismissed. Take care. Bye. Have a good sleep, guys. Take care. Good night.